Hey, Abhishek here from Study Lab. Hope you remember to check the value of temperature in front of 40 bar pressure from my previous video. And in case you forgot, open your pressure table, that is table number 2, and in front of 40 bar pressure you will see 250.4 degrees Celsius. The temperature reading on Raju's machine A is given as 300 degrees Celsius. Now, since the saturation temperature is 250.4, which is less than the given temperature, the given steam is superheated. So remember, if T saturation is equal to T given, the steam is saturated steam. If the given temperature is higher than the saturated temperature at a particular pressure, the steam is superheated. And if T given is less than T saturation, then the steam is wet steam. Now, once you determine the state of a steam, then for saturated and superheated region, you can use your steam table. And for wet region, you can use formulas, which I will discuss in a short while. So it's important to know what is the state of a steam. That's the most crucial part. For the superheated region, which is uh, this blue region in the TS curve, for any point in this region, you must have two values or two properties to determine the value of rest of the properties. Generally, pressure and temperature are given, but that's not necessary. Maybe enthalpy and pressure is given or temperature or entropy. But you need two values to solve superheated region. Now, remember Raju's machine from my first video. Since we know the value of pressure and temperature and we know the steam is superheated, we find three different tables for these three properties. On the vertical side, pressures are mentioned and on the horizontal row, temperatures are written like this. If we have to check the value of a specific volume at 40 bar and 300 degrees Celsius, we will find it here. Same if we have to find the value of a specific enthalpy, we will find it in front of 40 bar pressure and 300 degrees Celsius. And same process for a specific entropy. Let's talk about another important thing, dryness fraction or quality. Suppose in a container you have liquid and steam and the total mass is uh, 1 kg. Out of it steam is x kg and the rest that is 1 minus x kg is the weight of liquid. Then this x is called as the dryness fraction or the quality of steam. Or in formula x is equal to mass of steam upon mass of steam plus mass of liquid. If there is 10% liquid and 90% steam, the dryness fraction is obviously 90% or 0.9. If there is 100% steam, x is equal to 100% or 1 and this steam is called saturated steam. If there is 100% liquid or 0% steam in the container, then x must be equal to 0% or 0 and this liquid is called saturated liquid. So in the saturation dome here, the value of x is 0. Since there is no steam at saturated liquid point, here the value of x is 1. Since here we have 100% steam and in the wet region, the value of x lies between 0 to 1. For the values of enthalpy, volume and entropy in the wet region, we have these formulas. H is equal to HF plus XSFG, V is equal to VF plus X, VFG, S is equal to SF plus X, SFG. Let's take a question. Suppose 10 bar pressure and dryness fraction 80% of a point A is given. Since dryness fraction is less than 1, the steam is in wet region and we have to apply the formulas, which will be equal to HA is equal to HF at 10 bar plus X at A into HFG at 10 bar pressure, where HF is enthalpy of this point. If there is an another point B, then the formula becomes this where the value of HF remains same, the value of HFG remains the same. The only difference is in the value of X or dryness fraction. The value of dryness fraction of B is less than the value of dryness fraction of A. Now check in the superheated table if these values of enthalpy and entropy are correct or not. Comment your answer, share this video with your friends and do subscribe my channel Study Labs. Thanks.